Howdy bike campers. I'm Josh with Campfire Cycling. I'm out on a overnighter bike packing trip out near Buenos Aires National Wildlife Refuge. I wanted to gather up the most commonly used styles of stoves for that you would use probably bike packing. Just get you started on making a good choice with stoves. We have my 20 my trusty 25 year old MSR Whisper Light. Well, the reason I call it the champion of stoves is because the fuel is the most readily available. The liquid fuel here is you're gonna be able to find it throughout the world. The other great things about this stove are it's great in cold weather, also has really high heat output. So you're gonna be able to cook well for a, a group of people. Some downsides on it is overall, it's uh, got the most moving parts. It's somewhat complicated to use the heaviest of the stove systems. So there are some downsides, but for the most versatility, it's a good way to go. What I've been using lately here in the US is this style of propane stove. This is a more, this is a complete setup that I like because it has the pot and the heat transfer and the stove all built in. It can all come, everything all fits inside of this, packs up nicely, even comes with a cup. But it's really easy to set up and use. It can be a light, lighter weight system. If you want to keep the weight down um, and just there's just very simple burners you can put on and not and then just have a pot carry a pot separately. Some of the downsides of it it's not going to do as well in cold temperatures. It's going to be difficult to find the fuel uh, in parts of the world but overall for bike packing an easy to use system this is something by Vargo. And this actually represents three styles of fuel. We have alcohol, this little compact system burns alcohol. Flip it over and it's a fuel tab burning stove. And then um, pop out the, the holder from this device that serves as a windscreen and it becomes a twig burning stove. So you can stuff all these twigs in there and cook your, warm up your pot of water. This is the whole system, these two parts, and then this pops out and folds down, and there you go. And this can be even lighter. You can carry an even lighter white, lighter weight windscreen that doesn't necessarily double as also being your twig burning stove. Alcohol is going to be somewhat readily available throughout the world. So if you're looking for a lightweight system that also works around the world, this is a good way to go. Some of the downsides of the alcohol direction are it doesn't burn very well in cold temperatures and it's got a low heat output. So it's gonna take a while to warm up your water or your food if there's multiple people, especially if there's multiple people involved. The fuel tabs are an option for when it gets cold. So these used fuel tabs will work in the cold so they use the same white, lightweight system. The downside of the fuel tabs is they're not gonna be as readily available around the world. Um, really, I consider this is to be a multi-fuel system based around the alcohol, but using fuel tabs when it's cold, and then as a, another option, using twigs when they're readily available, when you have dry twigs like I have here today, and it can expand so you don't have to have as much alcohol fuel all the time and still be able to cook. So yeah, those are five different styles. Next up, we're gonna give you a little demonstration on how each of these lights up and quickly see how they burn. It's a windy day, so hopefully this goes well. But um, yeah, we're, I'm just gonna show you how you would take this set up and, and light it up, get, a, get some water boiling. So set up the stove, take your fuel bottle, remove the cap and this is this is a this is a pump system. So get that in there. I'm gonna set my screen down so it doesn't blow away. Insert it on that side. Just got this clip to hold that on. With that installed, needs some pumps. It's windy out here. Now 
Now you let some fuel in once it's pumped up. Fill up the cup with fuel. This little cup at the base of the of the stove. Now I'm going to light that up with my campfire cycling lighter. And I'm going to put my wind my screen on so it can keep the flame contained. Well, it, while the stove primes. Once most of the fuel is burned off, we can light it up. Actually, in this case, it all burned off, but it's, it's hot, so I can light the stove. See the stove's lit. In these conditions, it's good to keep the cup co covered. And even in the wind, able to get things going. So our propane stove will be easier to light up even in these windy conditions. Just take it over, give it a little shade. And we're off and cooking. So things got windy out in Aravaca. So I'm back here in Tucson, I'm at a nice little park near the Rito. Diving right in, we're gonna get into this Vargo stove, which has can actually demonstrate three styles of fuel burning. The wind, this uh, windscreen here also doubles as a twig burner. So we'll start out using it as a windscreen to hold the Vargo in alcohol fuel mode. And this, this is the Vargo converter. We're gonna fill it up with some alcohol fuel. And it takes a little while to warm up. It's not red, totally readily apparent that it's that it's burning. It's a small flame at first until it builds up and gets a little bloom going. But you can put your pot of water on right away and start heating it up. Vargo Bot 1000, which uh, it's called a bot because it's a bottle and a pot. So it is in pot mode, obviously here. The lid is just a set on lid. This can turn over and screw down to transport water. And my flame is small but building. Next up we're using the Vargo stove and windscreen and it's uh, wind, uh, stove twig burning capacity. So I've got it stuffed with some twigs and I'll light this guy up. One handy tip I've heard is to put, use a fuel tab as your starter in the center of it. So next up we have a fuel tab using the Vargo converter here in its fuel tab capacity, burning one of these guys. This would be uh, something you'd carry 
when using the alcohol fuel stove, but being prepared in cold condition. It's helpful to rough them up a bit. If you're looking for a minimalist bike packing cooking setup here in the US, in uh, warmer conditions generally, propane fuel system is the easiest way to go. Uh, quick, quick to use, quick to set up. Um, if you are looking for something lightweight minimalist here in the US or throughout the world, uh, something like this uh, alcohol fuel system like this Vargo here, um, and then to expand its capacity, you get something like a converter, which can burn fuel tabs. Um, and also this windscreen, which can double to expand your uh, usage by burning uh, twigs and things like that. Um, so that's a, a great system for minimalist bike packing in the U.S. or throughout the world, where the alcohol fuel is generally available, though the fuel tabs may be hard to find, so carrying extras of those with you is a good idea. Finally, for all the conditions, for uh, cold weather, for high heat output, for cooking for larger groups of people, um, just, uh, yeah, the sort of the champion do-it-all stove is something like doing a liquid fuel like this MSR Whisper Light. That's, uh, that's um, gonna be the heaviest of the options, most complicated to use, but is uh, capable in the most situations. Thanks again for watching our first uh, trailside bike camping presentation. Uh, it's been uh, it's been fun doing this here in Aravaca, then in here in Tucson. Uh, have fun out there, you crazy bike campers.